Our next guest is a talented actress, comedian, and best-selling author who you know from her work in movies such as Marcel, The Shell with Shoes On, Everything Everywhere All at Once, and Obvious Child, her new special, Jenny Slate. Season Professional is available now on Prime Video. Let's take a look. So I took an airplane to Amsterdam. He came to the airport with flowers, which obviously made me have an orgasm right away. <laughs> And he's like, da da da, and we'll do this and that, and then we'll get on the bikes. And I was like, oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I feel like I heard like a weird, like a, like a weird word. He's like, we'll get on the bikes, and I was like, oh, there's the other shoe. <laughs> Please welcome back to the show our very good friend Jenny Slate. Thanks for having me back. I love this special so much. Beautiful venue. Oh, gorgeous. You remark on the oh. venue right off the bat. <laughs> Both of our faces, when we're even talking about it, are like, <sighs> because it's ghostly. It has a spooky vibe. I remarked right away, because I like to tell the truth, which is that it reminded me of what I think the play, The Phantom of the Opera, is about. Gotcha. A play that I have not seen. <laughs> Because, A, they made the title too scary, yeah. as I say. B, I also admitted right away, uh, much to the offense of many of the theater goers, that I don't want to see a play. You don't like going to plays? <laughs> what, I don't. What is it, what's your turn off about going to see a play? I'm like, okay, like someone gave you that outfit. <laughs> Right? And you're, and literally they're like, Father, but you work at the newspaper or whatever it is. You're like, I see you. Like, your name is Elizabeth. <laughs> you know, like, you went to Juilliard. Like, you're, I know you're you. That's you're, how I feel. So you feel lied to at a play? Yeah, I'm like, if we're all gonna be here, why don't you talk to me? <laughs> <laughs> like a normal person? <laughs> yeah. I just, I don't know. But yeah, I mean, that said, like, obviously, if like Tony Kushner is watching this, I would love to be in a play. Yeah, I think yeah. that's a. Like, so much, You mentioned yeah. uh, you've never seen Fan of the Opera. I also haven't seen it. What do you think it's about? <laughs> okay, can I all, okay, okay, and I'll take the test. Let yeah. me say, I saw the movie. Okay. It was a while ago, okay. AKA, I was stoned and drunk in my home. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this so this is, the, uh, this is the recent one. Jerry Butler. Jerry Butler's in yeah. it, great. And I, it's, they're on a gondola, they're going, and, He's like, oh, oh, oh. And so a little bit of that, right? What I think it's about, he doesn't know where to go. He has half a plate on his face. Why is he in there? She's walking around. Why is she in there? Why are they both in there? And then she's like, oh, when she's alone. And then he's like, Christine. And then she's like into that. And then he comes out and he's like, my plate. And then she's, he like teaches her how to sing. And then he's like, but he's like basically a squatter. And like, and then she like sings so hard that the chandelier falls on them. And that's why love can be beautiful, but a tragedy. Oh, I might have to check it out. I might have to check it out. I've never heard a movie recap where there's more whys. <laughs> like, why are they there? What are they doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, I'm asking you. Right, right. Uh, you and I, although you did the hard work. We both uh, talked about uh, the birth of our children in our specials. Yeah. But I, of course, did not have to give birth to a child. I just got to, like, stand there and watch and tell jokes. But yours was so good that I got pregnant so that I could do a special about yeah. giving birth. Yeah. When you realize, like, oh, a material. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm gnarly. I'll just go for it. You know, and, uh, and now your beautiful daughter is three. She's And three. she wants to do something that uh, she did not inherit from you, the desire to do this. This is like a super tough one for me. Because, okay, so recently from a distance, because I'm not crazy and doing it up close, we saw a horse okay. from a distance. Gotcha, you didn't bring her to see a horse, there just was a horse nearby. Uh, oh, yeah, I would <laughs> never bring her to see a horse. Um, <laughs> anyone who knows me knows that I, I'm like really scared of horses. Okay. And I don't like them. And what don't you like about horses? Uh, they're too big. Uh huh. Uh, I don't understand why they're not a dog. Like, 
the feet, the, their feet are hammers. Um, the face is as long as like half a door. It's like, oh, that's your face? Like, absolutely no thank you on that. And then, like, I would not explain this to my daughter, but like, they're, they're from hell. <laughs> Yeah. Right? <laughs> I mean, that's more than three oh, strikes. Oh, yeah. I'm like, that's a solid five strikes you're out. Totally. On that one. Totally. But she wants to, does she want to ride one? That's what she said. Oh, no. Yeah. So, what are you going to, how are you going to explain it to her? So, she says it. My husband, he like, he like looks at me. He's like, oh, oh, like, this is Jenny's nightmare. And uh, I, I was like, we can't. You, we're not, we're not, we, we can't. And she's three. So, she was like, why? And I was like, we don't know any. <laughs> Yeah, like I just, I, I just don't like know to, who to connect you with. Yeah, I don't know. We don't know. And she was like, "Oh, okay." <laughs> yeah, it's great. You weren't honest with her, but you explained it in a way that sounded honest. Yeah, I yeah. just, yeah, and I think that's that's. Fair I think enough. that's the way to deal yeah. with kids. Yeah. Yeah. Um, a seasoned uh, professional mm -hmm. is the title. This is a title that was was gifted to you by a hypnotist. That's true. I w <laughs> that's. True. <laughs> I don't know. I don't. Do you, know, do you sometimes like watch your personality happen and you're like, what is it? <laughs> like, how old am I? Like, am I 90? Am I? What is it? I don't know. I don't know what I am. But um, anyway, yes. I went to a hypnotist because I I suffer from stage fright. When when is this? How far into your? Is this before your career started or during? During. Okay. And I was like, oh, I can't have this because I got to go on the stage. It's yes. like a major part of, you know, why, why I'm here, um, even on a stage right now. And so I went there. Uh, mostly my fears blasted through whatever uh, he told me. But the phrase, you're a seasoned professional, stayed in, in my mind. And, like, that's why it's called it. The, the special is called seasoned professional. But looking back, I'm like... It's so crazy that I did that because you know, like when you're in high school, maybe a uh, like a hypnotist comes, yes. and they're like, "Who wants to come up here and get hypnotized?" And it's like only the popular kids who have never been made fun of. Yeah. You know, like I remember like a hypnotist coming and like they make you be like act like a chicken or play an invisible violin and just being like, <laughs> like I would never <laughs> embarrass myself more than I'm already embarrassed by just being here in school. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah. last thing I need to add to my ensemble is an invisible <laughs> violin. Totally. Yeah. Like, just playing a sax or whatever. <laughs> They're like, that, that's how your nickname becomes, like, you know, sax or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but you have also, you've dabbled uh, with some, uh, some other um, professionals in the mystic field. <laughs> I have. Yeah. I love the cosmos. Um, <laughs> I, yeah, I'll get help where it exists, you know. Um, for my... My bachelorette party um, to celebrate my first marriage. <laughs> <laughs> what is my personality? Like, what is it? <laughs> wine, you know, it's like wine mom. Like, it's like, what is this? But anyway. <laughs> okay, so my best friend and I got married within a month of each other. We were like, let's have a bachelorette party together, AKA, let's go like somewhere with a pool and smoke weed with like three other people. Yeah. So we went there. We got um, a psychic to come. She was like 45 minutes late. <laughs> she rolls up with a wheeling suitcase with like a broken wheel. She's like, God damn it. <laughs> She's like so flustered, so harried. She's like, oh God, sorry girls. All right, okay, all right, okay. Um, and then she had a stage name. We booked her under her real name, you know, whatever. And like, like Candace Taylor or something. She comes, she's like, okay. Uh, <laughs> Girls, uh, I'm the uh, celestial uh, <laughs> countess. And we were like, <laughs> yo, this lady just burped in between her two names. <laughs> First of all, she cannot even do this. Her suitcase is dead. And but like we were all partying in the middle of the day. So of course we were like, tell me my fortune. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, um, and of course I was wearing like a Halloween store bride's veil because I was one of the brides. And uh -huh. She like lasered into me right away, and I was like, <laughs> "Here we go." And she was like, "You haven't met the right man yet. But when you know, you'll know." And I was like, ah! <laughs> "So she actually made me know what she was doing." I mean, when I was signing my divorce papers, I was like, <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> "Remember that." 
from Lady the Burp. <laughs> she was burping the truth. She burped the truth. Um, uh, before you go, and I really, I loved your special so much. Thank and you. I really do hope everybody watches. You also have a, another wonderful book of essays, uh, Jenny Slate, uh, Life Form, and uh, check that out as well. Congratulations on everything. Thanks, I'm Thanks. so happy to have you back. Thanks. Jenny Slate, everyone. Jenny Slate, Susan Professional. Available now on Prime Video.